Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing another tutorial on Scratch. We're doing the Easter Egg Hunt Part 2. So, we just recently bought a new mic um, to go with their setup so we can make higher quality videos. So, if you can tell a difference um, from the mic from before and now, please let us know in the comment section below if it was better or worse. We really want some feedback. So we're right now using the HyperX Quadcast. It's a pretty good mic, I think. So without further ado, let's get started on our project. So right from where we left off last time, we're doing the player, right? So right here, instead ch change ghost effect, I'm gonna do set ghost effect. Um, it doesn't really matter after I delete it, but I'm just still gonna, you can change that if you want. And then next we have our uh, broadcast. So we're gonna broadcast a few messages from here. So basically what we want is when you click the right or left arrow keys, arrow, a little arrow will come out um, pointing to the direction and like flashing telling that which direction you're going to. So we're go basically we're just gonna get a broadcast. We're gonna broadcast right here. We're gonna broadcast a message. We're gonna name it move right. And then the next one we're gonna do, this is left arrow. So we're gonna do broadcast move left. We'll use these broadcasts later once we work on the arrows. And then right here, we have the hide arrow. If you're not pressing down any button, then we have to hide the arrow. So hide arrow. So here we have the broadcasts. We're going to be using them after. Now let's go into our ground sprite. So this is the, like the scrolling background, <clears throat> the scrolling ground. So we're going to get coding in here. So first, we're going to get a one green fly clicked. Let me zoom in. So we're going to make it go to the middle at first. So the first background is going to go to zero, zero. And then we're gonna do a when I receive setup. So when I receive setup, uh, we are going to wait 0.1 seconds. So then basically we want the eggs to show up in the front. So we're gonna wait a little bit. Then we're gonna go to the front layer after. Go to front. And then right after that, we're gonna have to make two variables for the sprite. So uh, we're going to have to name them. Uh, we're gonna make them for the sprite only. So we're gonna do X for the sprite only, and then we're also gonna make a variable called y and for the sprite only, okay? And then next, we're gonna set x and y, set x to zero, y to zero, and then after that, we're gonna switch the costume to one, one, so this is the first one. All right, and then next, we're gonna define two custom blocks, so we're gonna make a custom block. So remember in our griff patch, tutorial on the scrolling platformer, like how he taught that you can place the clones in a certain direction, uh, certain place, like in our scrolling platformer tutorial, um, we basically, we put the back, like the scrolling background in a certain spaces. So like, we're gonna use this custom block to place the backgrounds. So we're basically gonna right, make a one custom block, we're gonna place clone at, okay? And then we're gonna make two inputs so one is gonna be X and one is gonna be Y. So here we have it, and then we're gonna click okay. So here we have defined this. So we're gonna set the X right here. So we're gonna set the X to X. So this, we're gonna get a multiplication. So we're gonna set the X to this X times 480 because the width of each ground right here, one of each costume is 480 pixels. So we're gonna do 480. And then next we're gonna set the Y to the Y. So we're gonna drag this right here, and we have the Y. And then we're gonna get a go to. So basically we're gonna make this ground go to the X and Y. All right. And then next, we're gonna create a clone of myself. So basically this is gonna create a clone in this place. So we're gonna create a clone. So this is just drawing the ground, like cloning the grounds. So we're gonna create a clone of myself, and then we're gonna go next costume. So we're gonna go next costume because we wanna go down the costume list so it'll make the ground look different. And then next we have another custom block. This is the position of it. So we're gonna uh, make a block. We're gonna make posi position. And then we're gonna make two inputs, X and a Y. So we have two of those and then click okay. We're gonna define it. So define it, we're gonna start off by saying go to the X and Y, so, uh, X and Y. And then, so basically, if the x is, we're gonna do if else. So it's if it's equal to, if the x is equal to the x position, if x is equal to the x position, then we're gonna show it, else we're gonna hide it. Show, else we're gonna hide. So what this code basically means in simple terms is it's basically adjusting 
the ground to where the player is so they can continue scrolling and then so next we're going to get a when i receive reset so when i receive reset we're going to delete this clone so when you reset the thing it's going to delete all the clones and then one more thing we're going to get a this is the scrolling of the thing so we're going to get a when i receive move ground um, when I receive move ground, we are going to get the position. And then we're going to do x minus the scroll x. So we're going to do the minus. So we're going to do the variables x minus scroll x, g scroll x, and then 0 for the y. Okay. And here we're going to place the clones. So basically, we're just going to place them x1 apart because the width is 480. So we just want to make them all attached to one thing. So unlike the scrolling platformer, we made like separate platforms, so they're not attached. We want to make them all attached together. So we are going to get a place clone at, and then we're just going to do zero, zero for the first one. And then we're just going to increase to X by one every single time. So we're going to put this over here and then we're going to just duplicate this. So we're going to make it one. And then we can just duplicate this, two, three, duplicate all that, four, five, six, seven. I believe we have uh, eight costumes, which is basically, yeah, so you have eight, so we have to clone eight times. So, and then next we're going to hide the sprites after, we're going to hide the sprite after it's done cloning. And then we're going to set the X of it to negative nine, 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 nine because we want it off the screen basically. So we're gonna set it to just like something like that. Okay, so now we have our scripts for our ground. Let's run the game. Let's start it. Okay, so as you can see, the scrolling is working. We're using the arrow keys to move around and as you can see the background is scrolling along. So let's get to the end. So yes, basically it for the background, so the, I mean the ground, so that's what it is. Now let's get a backdrop. So we're going to go to the backdrop and we're going to draw it. Okay, so to draw our backdrop, we're going to draw like a blue sky. And then we're going to have a sun in the top corner. And then it's going to shoot a shine like a ray down here so it looks bright. So we're going to make the background look a bit better. So what we're going to do is basically just get a square. So we're going to get a light blue color about like this bright. And then we're going to get this shade. And then here we're going to get white. So it's going to look something like this. Oh, no, no outline. Uh, so we're going to hide the outline. Actually, let's adjust it a little bit. Maybe let's not make it white. Uh, maybe let's turn up. Let's make it a little bit. Let's make it a really light blue. Maybe that will look, make it look a little bit better. So let's make it darker. Okay, so I think this should make it look better. Now let's draw our rectangle. Okay, so it looks pretty good. So here we have it. And then we're going to get import a sprite. So we're going to go into the sprite library. I think there is a sun in here. Yes, this one. So what we're going to do is just copy this. Uh, that. Group it. Control C. And then we're going to go in the background. Control V. We're just going to put it in the top right. About like right here. Yeah, about right here. And then we're just going to delete this sun sprite. And then one last thing, we're going to draw a circle. Basically with the middle like yellow and the outside is no nothing. So we're going to get this thing and then we're going to swap this. We're going to make it really light yellow, a light yellow, no outline. And then right here, we're going to, uh, this one, we can just swap it. And then this one, we just put nothing. So here we have like a really light yellow. So we can just draw a circle kind of like that. Hold down shift. So we get perfect circle. So something like that, maybe move right here. So as you can see, it looks like the sun is actually kind of shining down. So it basically just makes your game look much better. So here we have our backdrop. So there, let's play it. Yeah, so you can see it makes the game look much better with that backdrop. Okay, let's save the project. Let's do the uh, background scrolling now. So this is like the scrolling background. So like this is the ground, right? And then behind this, we'll have another background that scrolls a bit slower. So it makes the game look much better. So some of this code is similar. So we're just going to drag and drop some of this code inside. So inside the ground. So we're just going to zoom out one time so I can show you guys all the code. 
if you've missed anything then you can put it down now all right so i'm just going to drag in some of this code that we need so we're going to use this one place clone at the position we're going to have to obviously change some of this stuff but it will work when i uh change some of it up and then we're going to get the reset when green flag is clicked and then we'll get this entire chunk as well but obviously you have to change some of it up so let's get started on that right here on the position we're just going to get x y go to x y and then we're just going to show um because you're not going to be scrolling with the player it's just going to be scrolling when you're moving to the right or left it will just scroll with the other ground so place clones x y we can keep all of this except for the next costume because there is only one costume and then next, right here, when green flag clicked, we'll just go like this, and then we'll hide. Reset, delete this clone. And then here in the setup, we we'll take out the wait 1.1 seconds. So we're going to go to the front layer, right? Uh, no, go to back layer, sorry. So we have to go to the back layer because this is like the background behind everything. So we're going to go, we're going to put this after. So set X, Y, and then we're going to hide. And then I'm just going to switch the costume to BG scrolling. And then we're going to make it go to the back layer. And some of it is going to be different. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a clone like this. And then maybe we're going to flip it 90 degrees. So then the rock is on this side and the tree is on this side. Um, so it will make, me make the game look a little bit more variation. So basically it's going to be reversed. Everything is just going to be flipped over 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. So it just makes the game look a little bit better. Have more variety in your background. So... By doing this, we're just going to do a point direction of 90, place a clone at 0, 0, and then we're going to point direction of negative 90. And then after that, we're going to place a clone at 1, 0. So basically, we're only going to have two of them, so we're going to make the background scroll much slower than everything else. I forgot to zoom in, so here is it all zoomed in. And then right here, we're going to get the hide. Oh, I don't know why I deleted that. We actually still need that. And then after that, after that, we're going to set the X to negative 9999. So we can move this backdrop off the screen once it's done. Okay, we can delete all this. And then next, we're going to get a, uh, when I receive, move ground. So remember the broadcast, when I receive, move ground. We're going to use that right now. So basically, we're going to get the position of it. We're going to get the position. So we're going to do the X minus the round of scroll X divided by 10. So basically, this means that it's going to be scrolling one-tenth of the speed as the ground. So we're going to get this. So we're going to get a minus sign. So subtract. So we're going to get a round as well. So then we want a whole integers. So we're going to get an x minus the round of g scroll x divided by 10. So it's going to scroll one-tenth of the speed as the ground. So we want to make the background just scroll a bit slower. So we're going to get a... So G scroll X divide by 10 and then we're just gonna get the Y and put that into here So I think that should be it. Let me zoom out. Let me put everything together and let's zoom out Okay Let's save the project and let's run it So as you can see you're moving right as you can see the backdrop right there You can see it is moving in the backdrop. There's like a backdrop behind this backdrop as you can see, it's kind of flipped right here. See the two rocks? Uh, you see the, there's like a rock right here. There's a rock right there. It's because we flipped it 90 degrees to give the game a little bit more variation. So you only need two clones for this one. So yeah, that's pretty much for this part two of this series. We worked on the ground and the background scrolling for this uh, tutorial. This is part two of the Easter egg hunt. Um, we're going to make one more parts for the eggs and you win. So, and the arrows. I almost forgot about that. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.